much of of my new chapter career. For sure, for sure. Let's uh, talk about that a little bit. Uh, what was your reaction uh, when the PFL gave you a call, uh, and then pretty much you uh, discovered the format, like the regular season playoffs, championship rounds, and then of course the possibility of a million dollars. I was, I was very excited. Uh, me and uh, me and Mr. Selfo actually have been in touch for at least like the past seven or eight months, um, uh, going back and forth. He told me he was interested in me, and uh, you know it's been hard trying to keep everything under wraps for sure. Gotcha. Gotcha. Well, I'm definitely happy for you. Definitely happy to uh, see you fight. Now, uh, in your division, the light heavyweight division, you're going to be uh, pro possibly facing off against guys like Brandon Halsey, Vinny Magalhães, Rano, uh, Ronnie Marcus, uh, Sean O'Connell. All those guys will be joining you in that division. Uh, who are some guys that you're interested in fighting, and what are your thoughts on some of your uh, possible opponents? Um, I mean, all, all those guys are, are really high-level guys. Um, and I'm excited about having an opportunity to, to compete against them. Um, uh, quite a few UFC vets and, and, and different skill sets. Um, but I, I think I match up great against all of them. Um, I have my own unique uh, skill sets myself. And uh, I'm interested to see, you know, who they throw at me and and how things line up. Um, uh, one of the most fights, one of the biggest fights that kind of intrigued me some um, would be a, a good matchup against uh, Vinny Magalash or uh, Sean O'Connell because those guys have been, you know, on my radar per se. Um, and I think uh, another guy would be uh, Honey Marks. Uh, Honey Marks just actually called me out when I was fighting for uh, BFC. So I think that'll be interesting also. Now, talking about that uh, possible opposition, some of those guys you just mentioned, um, if you were to fight them, are, th are there, like, any aspects within their game that you feel like you can exploit? Um, I, I just think, I just think it would be interesting matchups. Um, you know, Vinny, Vinny is a guy who, who moved up from, from middleweight, if I'm recalling right. Um, so I think I'll have a, a good size and strength of defense against him and, you know, uh, Sean O'Connell, you know, he's just a tough, tough guy. Um, I heard, I've heard he was a super nice person, but he's a tough guy who's been there against, you know, the who's who's um, of guys on different levels and different uh, circuits. So I just think I, I'd like to tough test myself and, uh, you know, see, see how it goes. For sure. For sure. Now, how do you plan on uh, preparing for this upcoming PFL season? And uh, where do you train and who are some teammates of yours? Now tell me, what will uh, PFL fans and just overall the MMA community see from you? Like when watching you fight, what the, what can they expect to see? Um, the PFL fans can expect to see uh, a finisher. Uh, I have a high finish rate. I don't like to listen to judges. Um, out of my 18 wins, I think I only have two decisions. Um, so they can expect a finisher, which is either submission or, or knockout. But I'm going to go in there and I'm going to put on a fight. I'm not going to try to stall out. I'm always going to look for a finish, and I'm always going to throw heavy shots. You know, that's what I've always given, and that's what I'm, I'm, I'm going to continue to get. If I see a, a classy veteran per se, and a, a, a good athletic fighter, you know, that's all I can bring. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as you just said, you are a finisher. I've watched a bunch of your fights. You're very impressive all around, very well-rounded fighter. Uh, in your opinion, what is the best aspect or attribute of your game? Uh, but I think that I can line up a 
against, you know, any striker out there and, and hold my own. Um, I feel like I'm definitely one of the best strikers, you know, in the Midwest, if not in the United States. And um, I just like to see, you know, people line up against me and try to throw down. I mean, it doesn't happen very often, but when it does, it, it's a good show. For sure. For sure. Uh, the PFL, they just announced uh, yesterday, obviously, or a couple days ago, obviously their roster and some locations. So they'd be going to New York, New Jersey, Chicago. Are there any places in particular that you would like to fight in? I mean, I, I, I was looking forward to fighting in, 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 the, in the garden, man. Uh, so many legendary people have stepped foot in the garden to compete in the garden. Um, that would be a spot that I would love to have an opportunity to compete in. Um, Now, lastly, if you could say a few words to your uh, future opponents uh, in the PFL, what would you like to tell them? I mean, my future opponents, I just want to tell them, just bring it, man. Uh, let's put on, a, put on a show for the fans. Uh, be ready to fight and just bring it. Um, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to have a boring fight. We got to put on a show that's our job to do and, you know, let's go to war.